in general, how many internal links is too many for one page? Uh, so who asks this? Dino, Dino. Um, it's going to be there is uh, no answer. Hard. Yeah, it's going to be hard to answer. Um, I don't think you know. So basically, when you're doing internal links, uh, people used to be a lot more like hardcore with you want this ratio, you want um, you want to structure it in exactly this way and only link to these things. And this will make your silo perfect. And then you're going to blast in the rankings. And now, even today, I was looking on Facebook. I was uh, looking at some on-page uh, discussions. And people have really backed off of that now. And people are just saying, link to what makes sense. So, you know, if, if you're, you know, if you're just linking to what makes sense on your page and you know you're not going crazy about it and have like a million internal links on every page that's gonna just confuse people and and you know make it not a good user experience then um you know you should be fine uh, yeah do you have anything to add on that nick i mean so yeah there there is no real answer and when you look at it from like a quote natural perspective there's all sorts of variables that you could look at um to basically quantify any narrative you want to create with this, meaning, um, you know, hub pages are typically going to have more links uh, or inner links than than like a normal page because they kind of operate like table of contents a lot of times. Um, and how much content is on that particular page, and then like Chris said, what's natural to see, you know, linking in and out of that page. Um, Typically, you know, when you look at it, you want it to feel like it's, you know, it's not created for the purposes of just interlinking. However, you can get away with doing that in the form of hub pages as well. So um, there is no concrete answer, but just do what you feel is natural for that particular page and what you're trying to do with it. Um, if it's a page that you're trying to rank off of, then you're going to want to use things sparingly and more natural. And then over time, you know, you're going to find that you'll want to add new inner links to that particular um, piece of content because you're probably adding new pages to this website, et cetera, that also need to get um, inner page links. So you want to allow room for growth a lot of times too. Um, but uh, how many links is too many? Uh, there, there really isn't um, such a thing as too many, um, you know. I, I, I mean, like even the site map is just a bunch of uh, inner links, right? And that's what, um, you know, website crawlers are using for the most part to uh, to crawl and kind of digest your website. So, um, yeah. Uh, Let's get this rocking today. Yeah, he's on the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> he's on the stairs having fun. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think I think what's more important than than the maximum amount of internal links you have is is the minimum you should have, and you know so I I don't ever put content I don't ever put any kind of, I mean I guess it really depends you know if it's a if it's like a landing page for a product or some well, even then you can do to like related products that's a very good thing to do but generally I, I there's never a page on on my website that doesn't have internal links to something else. Uh, you know, at least a couple. Um, so, you know, yeah. I, I would I would focus more on making sure you do have internal links related, you know, linking to stuff that is kind of related that, you know, if you're the reader and they're reading about it and they say, you know, and they might not know about this other topic that you kind of mentioned briefly, like link to it. That's, you know, that's the whole idea is, you know, you're keeping them on your website. Um, you're, you're supplying the user with more information about whatever topic and, and yeah, and, and then also just think about it from, you know, if they're reading your, uh, your article and then they come to a paragraph and the paragraph has 10 internal links in it, it's just crazy. You're, you're kind of, you're sending them all over the place. You're not even giving them like a chance to breathe and just digest the information. And, you know, they, they're, they're probably not going to care about like, you know, all these other things. Um, but even then, I, you know, I, you know, just link to what makes sense, uh, link to things that are more relevant rather than uh, less relevant, you know, more closely related to whatever art the article is, um, rather than just something that's completely off the wall. Unless, unless um, you know, you're having a hard time getting any internal links in an article, then, you know, you can, you can link to stuff that's maybe less relevant than you would like to. 
Um, yeah, uh, definitely make sure you have some. And as far as too many, I wouldn't really worry about that too much. Just do it in a way that uh, makes sense for um, that users would like. Um, yeah, I'll be honest. I mean, usually when I'm thinking up interlinking, I'm exclusively thinking about how like these links are going to be crawled and what kind of information is going to be digested there. Um, typically, like, you know, if you even just look at Sir Links a lot and how it's set up, the home page acts as a hub page to, you know, all our, our most important parts of the site, right? Um, and then within the offshoots of all these different pages are internal links and different, you know, used in different formats, et cetera, um, that overall are basically just creating a spider web of crawlability for Google crawlers, right? And so this gets them kind of, you know, in there uh, digesting the different parts of our site, what's important via what article, et cetera. Um, but yeah, it's uh, mainly done from, you know, kind of a natural perspective with Sir Links versus some affiliate websites I have. A lot of stuff I like to do is I like to use a homepage kind of like that as a sort of hub page. Then I've got these strategically created hub pages under those where I'm going to be quite a lot more aggressive with my interlinking because the function of them is to create crawlability, not so much to get them ranked in the SERPs and to help users, but to help Google identify, you know, these kind of subcategories, et cetera, that I'm trying to uh, create uh, this website to be about. Um, so, uh, you know, and then the articles that I am trying to get ranked, uh, then within there, the interlinks are going to be completely natural. Like it's just going to be to things that make sense that's not used for manipulation, et cetera. Yeah, just to give you a little more of an example real quick before we move on. So, you know, Nick was talking about using our homepage as a hub page because it basically links out to a bunch of stuff. So you can see, you know, we're linking to all of our different products for, from it. Um, we're linking to some of our most recent blog articles, to our podcast. Um, you know, it's got a bunch of internal links. And then we also have these other hub pages, like, for example, our link building services page um, then links out to all of our different link building services. Um, and then just to show you, here's a, a blog post or whatever, some more like contextual interlinks. And um, you can see scrolling down that, you know, just have some links in here every now and then. And some of these um, will probably be uh, outbound authority links as well, because we also um, link to other stuff. Looks like the only outbound link we have here is a link to a YouTube article. Um, but yeah, you know, and generally, you know, I have at least one outbound authority link in, um, in a blog post and then, um, not, not at least one, I mean, as many as makes sense, but uh, sometimes one, sometimes none, but usually I have at least one and then, uh, just, you know, kind of put some internal links in it, but not too crazy. Just kind of spread them out. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that helps and hopefully we didn't talk too long about it. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking!